What's going on guys, Derek here. Oh. Wow, I almost forgot my identity for a second. No, nah, that joke was towards uh, a couple of people and one of you might be watching. Yeah, I'm kind of calling you out, but yeah, I've had a few people say you're a Derek wannabe. I guess you're haters, but yeah, I bought the OG Derek Baron hat just for this joke. I've been wearing hats more lately because, you know, when I'm out here filming, it gets a little windy and my hair just goes all over the place and it looks stupid. To make myself look less like Derek Barron, I'm going to put my hat backwards. Alrighty guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got Reaper here in our normal filming spot, which has been trashed. I guess somebody came out here and partied and ruined the place and even brought a dozer out here. This place is absolutely trashed. But I was reading through some comments and someone commented saying, uh, make a video on how to drive a manual and how I learned how to drive manual. So I'm going to show you guys how I was taught. It's starting to freaking rain again. It stopped earlier and I'm like finally I can go out and film now it's starting to sprinkle again freaking annoying but at least we're going to be inside the car for the most part so this is for the guys they're just learning how to drive manual of all ages I've seen people in their 20s and 30s learn how to drive manual late that's okay not judging uh, manual is a little overwhelming at first but once you get used to it it's easy I mean it comes to you like riding a bike so yeah let's get in the car and hop into it so for the basics down there ignore that uh, that right here to your right, or I mean, yeah, right to your left is your clutch pedal. Then you got your uh, brake pedal. Then you got the accelerator. So, of course, when driving a manual car, always have the e brake pulled up when you park so you can put in neutral and don't worry about rolling away. So, a lot of people hate this habit, but the habit that I have is always shake it back and forth that ensures that you are in neutral. So, when you start the car, it doesn't lurch forward or it doesn't roll away or try and drive away from you. So, yeah. Always just give it a little shake. Not too much. Just like one, two, three. Make sure it's in place. So, first things first. Once again, make sure it's in neutral. I always, that's the number one thing. Make sure it's in neutral so you don't hit anybody else's car or driving to a wall. Push the clutch pedal, which is all the way to the left, all the way to the floor. Put your key in. If you don't push the pedal all the way to the floor, the car will not start. So turn the key. I always double check just in case. Then you can let the clutch out and you're good. So right now we're sitting here at idle. And the best place to practice driving clutch is in a flat area like this. No hills. Just as, uh, just as, this is just for starting out. God, I'm stuttering. So, uh, so I can actually see. We're gonna go ahead and shut the door so it's not so loud. So, put your uh, right foot on the brake. Like, go to the e brake. Now your car can roll unless you're in a, uh, you know, a flat spot like I am. So, if you're not rolling, you're good. Uh, so let's push the clutch in. Put it in first gear. So what I usually do. Uh, well, I usually did when I was practicing taking off. I would ease on the clutch, ease, ease it up, ease it up really slow. Then the car will start to die down and you'll uh, feel it start to move. Keep easing up super, super slow. And if you're on a flat enough surface, your car should not stall out. And look, we are moving. So keep easing it out until your foot is all the way up off the clutch. And now, I'm not using any of my feet. The car is rolling on its own. This may uh, be different for each vehicle because some vehicles have like shorter gears in the rear end so the car will move easier. But now you are free to give it gas. And that's the easiest way to start out. And you can feel the motor die down too when, you, when you're uh, at a certain point when you're allowed off the clutch. And every clutch is different. So there will be uh, different grab points. Uh, mine is an aftermarket clutch, uh, performance clutch, so it may be different than your clutch depending on what you're learning on. Yeah, yeah. right now we're cruising around in first gear. Just get used to cruising around in first gear and taking off. And once you get taken off uh, down pat, we will get into shifting gears. So uh, for another uh, tip for taking off, this is when you uh, get the first step down pat that I just showed you, letting the clutch off easy. We're on a little bit of an incline. As you can see, we are rolling back. I wish my seatbelt thing would showed up and not putting you on. But, um, so what I usually do is, on a hill, I put my uh, right foot on the brake. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I put my toes on the accelerator. So what I do is, I let the clutch up. Then once you get to that grabbing point like where I'm at right now, 
I give it a little bit gas like this, just tap it a little bit, then let go of the brake and let the clutch up the rest of the way slowly, and bam, you just did a hill start. Pretty easy. Uh, for anyone that's new, it's going to take some practice. So if you mess up a few times, don't worry, it's completely fine. We've all messed up at some point and stalled it when learning. It's, like I said, it's overwhelming to some, but trust me, it's not that hard. It's just mine over matter. So let's get on to shifting. So we are rolling once again. So for shifting, you're gonna to wanna to let off of the accelerator, push in the clutch all the way. And right now I'm in, I was in second there, but imagine you're in first, you grab the shifter and you pull it down into second. Then you let the clutch out, then you give it gas. There, you just shifted. So we are gonna try this again. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the car in first gear. I take off in second sometimes, like I said, my gears are four tens. Some of y'all may not know that if you're just learning, but it basically just makes the car rev out higher and uh, in a lower gear. But either way, um, so we're gonna take off like we just learned. So clutch in, pull down the second, clutch out, and hit the accelerator again. Make sure you let off the accelerator, because when I was teaching my cousin, uh, she kept she kept hitting the accelerator as she was shifting and was not letting off the gas. And it, yeah, so make sure you let off the gas all the way when you go to shift. So now I'm going into third. Easy like that. And some cars are different with reverse, but reverse in this car is all the way over and down. In reverse, sometimes I don't even really use gas. Sometimes you can just do what I did to begin, like in the first part. Uh, was just let off the brake, or you had to brake, let off the clutch very slowly, then it grabs a lot quicker, and it moves a lot easier than first gear. So I'm not, I'm not even touching the gas right now, and I'm letting the clutch do all the work. If you're on like a slight incline, you're gonna wanna give it a little bit of gas, but most of the time, you can just easily just feather the clutch. I don't let the clutch out all the way when reversing. Okay, so we're on an incline right now, right? So you're just going to give it just very little gas. I don't let the clutch up all the way. I'm, that's just a preference that I do. I know some of y'all are like, that's why I burn the clutch. I've never had a problem with my clutch just getting burnt out over the years of doing this. Plus when we reverse, you don't reverse for too long. I just re do it just enough until I'm moving out of my parking spot, wherever I'm reversing out of. Then back in first, ease up on the clutch slowly, feather the gas, boom. Uh, right foot off the accelerator, clutch in, pull down into your second gear, clutch out, accelerator down, easy, 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 easy. And the best places to practice are in non-busy areas. Uh, I would not, uh, for your first time, I would not go on the road right away. So where I'm at is, I don't know what this place was supposed to be, but this is like uh, a back road area. I think there's a neighborhood that was supposed to be here, but they never finished it. This has been like this for years. So I come back here for my videos, but it's perfect for learning how to drive a car or how to drive a manual. And yeah, there's no one around, plenty of flat ground. Um, like there's like a slight incline so you can learn how to hill start. There's like, find yourself a place like this, that or go at a business park that's not busy, we're in an empty parking lot in the middle of the night when it's closed. Places like that, do not go on the road right away because you're going to probably end up getting nervous and yeah. So practice as much as you can in an area like this. Once you get down pat, um, you can go on the road and you're ready to go. Uh, we'll get wet for uh, another second. So guys, did I help you learn? Uh, let me know down in the comments uh, if my video helped. Let me know how your learning is going. I really want to know how it's going for you guys when you uh, after you watch this video. I want to see how much I helped. Alrighty guys, I'm getting wet again. My camera's getting wet. Uh, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.